And we were shocked every single night when more and more people came. Uh, we were humbled and we were shocked that so many came. And I think Pastor Hanabago was there the first night. He called us the day, the day before that. He said, he asked when he, want, uh, we should, when he should come. And I, I was afraid to tell him at night. But he, because I thought that, you know, we didn't really tell the community. And so I figured, okay, maybe like 10, 15 people will show up. But then it shocked me when like 50, 60 people came to the event. And throughout the whole week, we had um, one baptism. So this person, actually the church pastor told us he didn't, we didn't need baptism. Um, our topic was fearless. And he said, uh, if you don't get baptism, it's okay. We're not really looking for baptism. But this one person, he kept on coming to us. Um, apparently, uh, two or three weeks before we got there, uh, this guy came to the church for the very first time. And the preacher for that day made an appeal for baptism. And ever since then, uh, the appeal has gotten stronger in his heart. And so every single night for the week that we had our crusade, he kept on coming to us and he asked us if we could study the Bible with him. And so we personally studied with him and we took so much time in nurturing him ourselves. And I, I, I feel, you know, uh, we were very humbled that he continued to come and he made the commitment at the end of the um, meeting. He was the only one, but we were very blessed to have him. Now, I think uh, our friend also has a Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Um, my name is Grace. Uh, I'm a dentistry student, senior. I should say that. And, and so, like, I want to testify about our VOI. Like, VOI on last summer was my very first VOI that I joined. And so, like, I was very blessed for the for the program that we had. Uh, for the uh, first, like, uh, I met a new friends. Like I never, I never knew that they are here until I met them in VOI. And so I started noticing, oh yeah, they're really here in AUP. Because if not, then I, I will never, never, ever notice them that they are here. And so like, um, let me start with when they, uh, when, uh, on the day that we're about to go uh, in Manila. And so like when I met them, they were, they were actually inside my house. When I entered my house, I was like, oh, who are these people inside my house? I was like. There are a lot of them, and then there are a lot of uh, uh, luggage inside. I was like, uh, excuse me, excuse me, like, well, like, are they invading my house? But they actually, they are the, the, those because I never, I never ever met them before, and so it was very surprising that they are there. So like, oh, this is uh, these people are the one going to join, uh, like, I'm going to join them actually uh, together in VOI. So like, oh, okay. So I did not talk to them because I don't know them. Like, it, it was very uh, strange, like. You know, a stranger going inside your house, and then you just don't know them, and they're there, they're there. It's just like, hello, and then they pass away. It's like, hello, and they go out. <laughs> and so, like, um, what the thing happened, yeah, you know, there are a lot of things that happen uh, to us in the VOI. So, when we, when we went there in Manila, uh, actually, I was there in, in, in my house when they went, uh, they, seven of them, they went ahead of me, and so I, I went like this. Oh no, six of them. And then me and Andrew Fury, both of us went together the day after. So uh, they they said us that oh, uh, the, the the church are not really prepared for, for our coming and so like I was like oh and, and then where are you guys now oh we're in the church like, okay you're in the church okay and then are you guys uh, what are you guys doing now oh, yeah, we're just sitting and then we're like uh, talking like okay okay good at least you have something to do there say like, oh good and so they were there and then uh, the next day when we came I personally I was shocked I was like oh okay and so mm, I was like thinking that we're going to meet like people you know. In my mind, for VOI, I was thinking that I'm going to visit places like house, like people in, with family, you know, with babies, with children. And so when I got there, I was like, okay, we were just staying in the in the church, and then uh, we uh, the the people our I was about to say our target population, <laughs> our our uh, our um, the ones that we're going to visit are our uh, students that are uh, staying in the dorms. But then unfortunately, those people are uh, they went home. 
great education. So like uh, we are losing our, you know, our target population. We lose them, and so like we were okay. So there were there were nobody there that left, and we were discouraged that time because I was thinking like if we come here for them, and then they're not here, and so to whom are we going to you know to share this stage? But then indeed God is so good that uh, for the first uh, we actually got delayed supposed to be on Thursday, but then we started uh, on Sunday. So we were for how many days we were discouraged and we were thinking like let's just well, let's just go home now. There's there's no way that we're going to continue. So, but then on Sabbath day, it was on Thursday we went there. On Sabbath day we went those KY uh, people from that church, the Manila Chinese church. And so they are helping us. They are so very, they are very, how to say this, like, very active and very uh, high in spirit when helping us. And so like they're, they're telling us that they're going to help us. We were like, uh, we were, we are the one, personally I was the one who was saying like, I was so very discouraged that because it's the very first time that I joined uh, VOI. And so like the very first impression, the very first impression is the one that will stay in your heart. It's very true. And so it stays in my heart. But then indeed, God has his own way to, to make everything uh, good and great. And so like they're helping us, first day, second day, third day, fourth, until the last day, even though just one soul that, that surrendered himself to God. But then the happiness that we have in our hearts is just so great. That we are thinking that actually, we were thinking that nobody will you know, will come up and when, when our speaker will do a feel. And then there is one man, we were like, oh, that man will, will surrender his, uh, himself. <laughs> we were like so happy. But then, uh, yeah, so, uh, and then when we when we went to the relocating uh, housing home, it was like me personally, I was shocked because I never imagined that in Manila, you guys also have, uh, actually have this, those kind of uh, places. But then it's okay, it's such a blessing that we can meet uh, children, we can meet a lot of people, and then we, we can share uh, our blessings. So, uh, my testimony is that uh, we may be discouraged in the first place, but then, indeed, God's promise will never, ever uh, fade away from us. Like, if we say, if you do anything uh, for my name, then He will always be with us. So, I believe that.